And there's nothing to be gained from this practice. Zero. Yeah. <coughs> Who can use that? Who wants that? Yeah. What does that offer your big fat ego? Like that, nothing, zero, Z, zip. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Come on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yet people step into whatever form of practice they happen to find or need. Doesn't mean they're practicing. You step into a pair of shoes, man, you know. What does that mean? Does that teach you how to walk? Well, not really. No. Right. Hmm. They very little to do, actually, with what you, you need to do with them. Okay. So who's practicing? We wear clothes, and you know, once we put them on, we forget forget they're there. See, because we have things to do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that the dharma and practices can be seen as more garb, mm -hmm. and people satisfied with that. Oh, I do this, do this. I've been doing that for so long. You know, mm -hmm. I've done this, and I haven't done anything. Mm -hmm. They're just doing what they always do, except in the name of this or that or whatever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I have a new car. What's changed in that person? <laughs> Zero. Paradoxically, what people are lacking is zero. Peace. They're lacking peace. The fullness of peace, right? integration, no uh, balance, harmony, peace, okayness, healing. Healing is zero suffering. Neuroses, confusion. Mm -hmm. It's not just a cosmetic job, healing, it's making you feel good for a few minutes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, real healing is breathing and living the life see, of spiritual healing. Mm -hmm. So that what you're doing, regardless of what you're doing, what you have to do is the refreshment of this fact and process of healing. Mm. Mm. Regardless of what you have to do, how long it takes, how hard it is, how easy it is, for whom it is, so, for how much money, whatever, it doesn't matter. The idea is to be in the current of healing. This is what spiritual practice is about. Mm. So that what other people do, say, show up as, whatever, it doesn't matter. So, what they say about you or throw at you, all of these things don't matter. What matters is your sense of reality, your centeredness, your groundedness, your peacefulness, your clarity. And that description of healing. That sounds like something the ego would want. Sounds like something whose ego might want. Mm -hmm. Whose ego would want that? somebody involved in mm -hmm. a spiritual practice. Mm -hmm. What spiritual practice? See, you mean so-called? Mm -hmm. Like so-called ego. So-called. Mm -hmm. See, from the world of zero, there's no so-called anything. It's so-called zero, right? Land of zero, that's about it. It just means clear. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ability, potential. 
Mm. We can say undistracted and uninterrupted, uh, unconfused uh, flow. Flow of intelligence, data from, let's say, the unconsciousness into the consciousness, and maybe touching a little bit of the higher consciousness, say, intuitive consciousness, creative consciousness. Mm. So that there's an alignment that we can say could be somebody's life path, that's based upon this understanding of zero as peace. Zero neurosis as peace. Letting go, just at ease. So that you can do more with greater effect. This is open to all beings, regardless of ego, no ego, you know, wallet size, banking account, education, background, all the conditions, it's beyond the conditions. Mm. It just so happens that perhaps uh, karma plays into who's really ready for this kind of say, adjustment say, towards peace. And some of the theorists, especially in the Hindu traditions, where they speak a lot about karma, certain kind of progression, say, well, you have to be really burnt out before you get to this place. You have to have exhausted all your drives and all your mechanisms and all your programs and all your nonsense. Your self-building garbage. This is the opposite of self-building. It's selfless. Doesn't mean less, really. It means more. What is burnt out? Is it a form of completion? Does it have to do with a typical understanding? Being, fin being finished with killing yourself <laughs> and other people. Being finished with that. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Finish it up. Mm -hmm. Move on. You have to have the awareness, you can call it intelligence, or self-consciousness, <clears throat> to be able to recognize what you're doing to yourself to hold you back from doing what you really want to do at the level you ultimately need to be doing it at. <clears throat> Freely, joyously, joyful, right? creatively, and ultimately selflessly, that means, you know, without thinking about it. Mm -hmm. Right, right in that raging river of creativity. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you have to recognize when you're not at that level, and if we're, you're talking about evolving to a higher level of productivity or, let's say, accomplishment, and you have to do what you need to do to take the barriers out of what you recognize you as a physical being, an emotional being, as a memory-laden being, as a, an intellectual being, as an educated, as a cultural being, as a human being, uh, is, is doing. See, what any of that is doing to hold you back from what you ultimately know you're here to be or to do, apart from what the ego thinks. Mm -hmm. It's not about image, it's about purpose. Could be related to image, but this is beyond image. I use this phraseology, true to purpose, it means you have to do it. It doesn't matter what other people think, how they see you, what you look like, where you're at. No, you know you have to do it. It's like getting up and breathing. Mm -hmm. have to keep breathing. Mm -hmm. You need to go to the bathroom. True to purpose. You have to go and do it. <clears throat> no holding it back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Same with practice. When it becomes true to purpose, you're not talking about conversations that have to do with anybody else in order to influence what that might be for you. Or for anybody else. Yeah. Just knowing, true to purpose, boom, zap. Mm. Darn in the board, boom. Mm. Hmm. No conversation, no confusion. 
No distraction. Straightforward. Q. See, the knowingness that you're sitting here, being, has nothing to do with the ego. Whatever that is, has nothing to do with it. It's not about your self or self-image. Your hearing has nothing to do with your self-image. Your heart beating has nothing to do with your self-image. So what's the fuss? The quiet, ever-radiant being is present without a trace of darkness, neurosis, confusion, anxiety, see, insecurity. Some things are worthwhile looking into, exploring and practicing to advance your purpose, not so much as an egomaniac, but as a spiritually unfolding being doing what you have to do that's true to purpose mm -hmm. beyond society, culture, friends, relatives, peeps, relations, mm -hmm. spirit. Mm -hmm. Like you've said, this is mm -hmm. an exposition and a description of how to be, um, which or when or how it is. For some, yeah, or how it is for the one who wants it to be that way. So. It seems ridiculous, but mm -hmm. why do we? Who's we? Uh, people watching this video, me, anybody who has any of these questions, it it, it mm -hmm. seems. You mean to be or not to be liberated to create and do what you need to do, so you find some kind of ultimate, yeah, truth. To purpose. I mean, why is there even a question? Why is there a concern? Why is there, there a problem? There is none. There is none. <laughs> there never was any. See. <clears throat> so we are speaking in terms of the possibility that there is no problem to begin with, except what you're piling up on yourself. What you're making as a problem, which doesn't exist actually, but in your mind it, it's there. So we're talking about problem mind mm -hmm. and what that is that needs to be burnt or dismantled or dissolved or taken apart so that the path is clear. You have to clear the path you're here to walk. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Ultimately, you, you are the master you could ever imagine or dream of being or someone else being, ultimately. See, beyond all your self-sabotaging, self-limiting, self-created, uh, let's say, suffering. Hmm. There's this potential underneath it, already intact, hmm. already there. <clears throat> and there are schools that help individuals to recognize that so they can dismantle that in their own case by having a different set of values, rules, and conditions or perceptions or cognitions or realizations that enable them to start to find something that in this case we're saying is true to purpose. Okay. Being more than just suffering, ignorance, hmm. and nothing in the darkest sense of the word, disabled, self-disabled. So the dichotomy of outward looking and inward looking has been set up in the past. Mm -hmm. um, you look inward to be... Uh, it's a figure of speech. Yeah, to look inward, to look outward. These are figures of speech. Yeah. Sometimes correlate to activities relative to seeing, sight, vision, whatever. But they also, in the, spirit, in the spiritual works, relate to perceiving, knowing, see, understanding, realizing, cognizing. Yeah. Perceiving thing. And so as I sit here and I look and I listen mm -hmm. to what you're saying and to... You're looking no, nowhere <laughs> and also inwardly. 
inwardly into nowhere. So you're following the sound, the word symbols, see, into a certain place where they may be coming from and co corresponding to. So you're looking into yourself, <coughs> potential, through the words. You can close your eyes, the same thing's going to happen. So you're not really looking outwardly, you're listening <laughs> inwardly. See. You're, you're developing and maintaining and benefiting from a certain level of resonance that has to do with vibrational laws, and therefore you you come here to practice, and it's good practice. So along the way, um, theory has been very important to me. Uh, teachings. Teachings. Mm -hmm. um, right. Instruction. Yeah. And direction. <coughs> Suggestion, perhaps. Consideration. Because it yeah, seems like it. a lot of my confusion, self-created problems, um, inherited problems, uh, had to do with... Doubt. Doubt. Yeah. Doubt programming. Go ahead. Had to do with <laughs> the way in which I understood uh, the world and myself. And the theory that rearranges that um, that understanding, though it is not well, it it helps to formulate at least the way the way you think about yourself. <clears throat> so sometimes reading certain things can help you to rethink mm -hmm. and go deeper. That means re rethink, <coughs> excuse me, and recreate for yourself. <clears throat> what you need to start doing moving forward. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's a step on the path. You need to step on the path and keep taking those steps on the path. Mm -hmm. So pleasure gives you relative peace. <clears throat> okay. Eating food gives you relative peace. Having relations gives you relative peace. You know, buying things, getting checks and money, all of that machinery brings about relative peace. <coughs> Conditional peace. It's not real. Mm -hmm. So it's called peace, but it's not. Mm -hmm. It has more to do with a certain level of material contentment, Sorry, momentarily speaking. For the moment, you're okay. Yeah. Well, some are. Then there's going deeper. Yeah. That means to go beyond the machinery of cause and effect, self thought, mind, and world, and try to find some reality there, where there's no reality relative to self thought, mind, and world, or you know, consciousness even. And so that's what practice implies when it says go deeper. See, this is what the masters speak about. Not deep enough. Not deep enough, it means just a conditional state, momentary. Mm -hmm. Relative reality, dependent upon it, everything else. Mm -hmm. Not gone, just here, dealing with changes. Mm -hmm. It's good, good beginning. When you get tired of that, right? So it wears out, falls away, falls apart. Maybe ready to go to a more unconditional level of peace as a result of profound understanding, self transcending practice. Could happen. Mm -hmm. Neurosis less. Yeah. Thought less, mind less, body less, world less, intelligence. Possible. Here is free of a lot of the concerns that um, that occupy my daily life, and it's also an opportunity to express, mm -hmm. say, practice concerns. Mm -hmm. But it's been uh, you mean the non-existings, right? The non-existences. Yeah. Right? 
Right, and those, those things, the things that don't really exist ex except in your head. Yeah, right? and mental. To try and express a practice concern at this point is... Self-mental. <laughs> yeah. Right. Not self-realized or real, self-mental. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. The way you think and reflect upon your self-imaging processes. Mm -hmm. oh. mm -hmm. So you have to take deeper data. Well, there's no self. So. Mm -hmm. There's no form. There's no thing in the way. So when you find refuge in the no thingness of it, it's more space, more breathing room, more openness, more intelligence, more potential, more reality. More happiness, more doing this, I'd say, without self. In every, in any case, always without self. Limitation, mm. heart expansion. Mm. So you can perceive that you're sitting here, and you may be actually sitting here, observing what's going on and listening. And that's okay. That's not necessarily deeper in itself. The appearance is not deepness. See, in the sound or the sight itself, it's not necessarily deepness. See, so then we have to go into sort of like a psychic feel of sensing. Is it, is it the biggest and fuller perception? Are you really hearing? Are you really seeing? Are you really feeling? To what degree? Enough to validate your self-image of what seeing, hearing, and feeling are? Mm -hmm. Or did you find that at some point you didn't exist anymore and you said, whoa. <laughs> you don't know who's hearing, seeing, feeling, or knowing anything. That's the deeper view. That's a motion in the direction of no selfness. See, the deeper view, the bigger picture, the space, the old frontier. <clears throat> so keep in mind. We go, we go into the subtle, see, it becomes a limitation. You have to go beyond it. So you have to perceive and let go, perceive and let go, perceive and let go. See? Mm -hmm. And don't accept whatever's showing up in your head, or your feelings, or anywhere else for that matter. Just let it be. Let it be as it is and go beyond it. In every case, in any case, go beyond it. Don't believe it. No beyond. Don't believe it. Go beyond. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Choose to be part of the greater space, spaciousness. So, yeah. mm. Don't settle for being boxed in to your head, your emotions, your body. See? Mm. Don't be the practice of ignorance, ignoring the profound. The radiant, the luminous, yeah. the awakened, the heart, the hue. <laughs>